Wolfenstein Youngblood is the latest adventure in the alternative Nazi propaganda-soaked insanity that BJ Blazkowicz and its fellow allies inhabit. This time, Papa BJ has gone missing, and his twin daughters, Soph and Jess, take it upon themselves to get him back. As you'd expect from a synopsis that straightforward, the game doesn't really waste any time. After a very short story introduction, you're thrust back into the world of Wolfenstein 20 years later. Trading in the 60s style Americana for the 80s style synth that's all the rave these days. Like the title implies, you play as a young bloods in the Blazkowicz family in a much leaner, tighter, co-op focused experience. This lean approach really does affect everything. Story, which was by far the biggest strength of the previous titles, is very dialed back. The bulk of the story is given to you right up front and you get a bunch more of it near the game's end. For the majority of the game's 7 hour runtime, the extent of the story will come from loading screen exchanges or random dialogue between the sisters and your allies in your hideout. Extensive audio diaries and tapes can be collected, but once again like the previous games, you can't listen to any of these while you're playing and running around the map. On the gameplay front, Youngblood feels like a faster, more combat heavy variant on the previous title's gameplay. The biggest change, outside of the co-op, is the inclusion of a character leveling system. Outside of the leveling, the game's core structure itself is also radically different. The game operates out of a hub area where NPCs and other side missions can be picked up. From this hub you can move into one of three distinct districts and hunt down some enemies in a non-linear fashion. These areas, although limited in size, are very fun to explore. They are built much wider and have a lot more verticality compared to the linear design of the new Colossus' stages. Despite what some may think about stealth and its mechanics in the previous Wolfenstein games, it is possible with careful play and your abilities to get through large chunks of the game with proper stealth and silent takedowns in Youngblood. When stealth inevitably goes wrong, and trust me in co-op, it most certainly will, the game becomes very hectic. Reinforcements come pouring in from every angle, and the action is fast and frenetic. The co-op really addresses previous issues with Wolfenstein's combat in regards to how fast you can get killed, because having two characters allows for much needed help, a distraction for the enemies to fight, and useful revives when you're finally downed. However, the previous game's problems, especially in regards to gunplay and the guns feeling very light and flimsy, are back and worse than ever before, and the RPG mechanics really only make that problem worse. Let's say for example I have a shotgun, and I fully upgrade the shotgun to be spec'd out for damage. I can walk up to one of the many bullet sponge enemies in the game and unload that gun and it feels very unsatisfying. It doesn't really do a lot of damage, and even if it's the right type of ammo type against that enemy, it doesn't really punch through like you want it to. On top of that, the shotgun itself is pretty unsatisfying. It doesn't have a satisfying boom that you want from one of those types of weapons. Meanwhile, my throwing skill allows me to take a flimsy knife or a tomahawk and absolutely devastate heavily armored enemies with ease. This creates a big problem in terms of game balance as the inexperience of incorporating deeper RPG mechanics into a franchise not known for it really shows its head. As fun as throwing tomahawks is left and right for me, it shouldn't be the best way to fight enemies in open combat. Little things like this put a hamper on the game's long-term prospects, and the gunplay once again is the game's weakest point. That's never a good thing for a game build as a first-person shooter, ever. On the tech front, I've had several issues regarding sound, like entire sections where I didn't have any, kind of a big deal, and it happened a little too frequently for my liking. It's been patched, and as of the latest update, it's a lot less obvious than it was before, but it's still there. Performance-wise, the game runs great, and I've had no issues with the co-op at all. In fact, in terms of co-op, it's extremely easy to hop in with a friend, and the buddy pass is fantastic if you want to have a friend hop in and play with you at no extra cost. Overall, Wolfenstein Youngblood is an enjoyable experience and introduces several new mechanics that I wouldn't mind showing up in the inevitable Wolfenstein 3. Just don't go in expecting the next big step forward, as the budget price is pretty indicative of what to expect. The fantastic co-op, level design, stealth mechanics, and the Blaskowix tunes are great additions to the series and help keep the game fun despite another round of disappointing combat. 
If you are a fan of the series and want to see what the next chapter in Wolfenstein is, this is an easy recommendation. I gave Wolfenstein Youngblood a 7.5. It has its issues, but despite that, I still ended up playing through the entire game and had a good time with it. I hope you enjoyed my review and look for more at RectifiedGaming.com. Have a good one, and I'll see all of you next time. Hell no, but they fear the blood running through your veins. The blood of Blaskowitz.